hi, welcome to another episode of Book Covers DIY. Now in all of my book cover tutorials, I always suggest that you make two book covers or two versions of the same book cover so that your followers can um, help vote on your final book cover. So today I thought that I would make a quick video to show you how to actually design that social media graphic. So here we are on canva.com where we usually design our book covers. So instead, today we are going to select a Facebook or an Instagram design. Here's one here, Instagram post. If you can't find your Facebook or Instagram post here, you can just go and type it into the search bar. Instagram, right here, Instagram post, you can choose portrait or square. I'm gonna choose the square because this will work for Facebook and Instagram as long as it's this 1080 by 1080. So I'm going to select that one. Now it's gonna take me over to the templates page. There are a bunch of pre-made templates here. So you can scroll through here and see if there's one that you would like to start with. Of course, you can always go in and change the colors and everything else as well. Uh, if you don't see anything that you like or you just want to start from scratch, you can just come right back up to the top. And then we're going to click on this first option, create a blank Instagram post. You're going to click on there. It's going to take us over to our design area. You still have the templates uh, available to you right here on the left if you want to go back and choose one of those. But for us, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a background color. To do that, I'm going to click on the square, then come up here to this rainbow box. That's your background color. You can click in there. Then it's going to change this toolbox to all of your color palettes. We have default colors, gradients. Uh, then up here, you can add a new color. If you click in the plus sign, you can actually go in and move the slider wherever you want, and then also change the shade as you can see it's changing over here as i move it but i think i'm just going to start with like a cream i just move the slider and then you can have it and then you'll have a cream color there okay so now i need to get the photos of my two book covers in here to do that i need to come over here to uploads on the left toolbar here are a bunch of photos I've already uploaded, but I want to show you how to upload uh, your book cover designs. So you should have already, you know, designed your cover and, you, and, and downloaded them. So the two designs should be on your computer. And if you don't know how to do that, you can watch any one of my book cover tutorials. Uh, and I always show you how to download them at the end of the video. So let's go to upload files. And I just created these two like cowboy romance book covers. So I'm going to choose both of those i clicked on both and i'm going to click open both of those book cover designs are going to be loaded into my photo library here okay so once the blue bars disappear that means they are ready so i'm going to click on the first photo and see it comes over here I'm going to make that smaller and move it smaller move it aside and then i'm going to click on the second one and i want it to be the same size so i'm just going to Grab the corner, see I'm grabbing the corner and shrinking it. You can stretch it or shrink it until it's the size you want. And so you can see that I chose this light color because it kind of matches the cowboy hat here. So I'm going to move those apart. And you can have them either side by side, but I'm going to bring one down here. And Okay, so now I'm going to click off to the side. Now these two photos look really flat, so I want to change that. I'm going to click on this first photo, come up here to edit image. And then I want to scroll down to shadows right here. See shadows, see all. You can choose if you want to glow around it, you know, a, a curve or page lift. I'm going to click on drop and see how it created a drop shadow to the bottom and to the right. I want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in here and these, see these little adjustment dials. I'm going to click in there and I want to increase the transparency from 50 to 75. So you can see the shadow got darker. Uh, you can adjust the blur if you want it more blurry. I'm going to leave it where it was at 5. You can also uh, adjust the angle and how far it's at 2 right now. Here's the offset. See how it gets further away. I'm going to leave it at 2. And then here's the angle. It's at 0. But see how the angle changes? I'm going to leave it at 0 as well. Uh, and then here is the color. It should automatically be set to black. If you for some reason wanted to change that, you would click in here and change the color. I'm leaving it as black and I'm going to click apply. All right, I want to do the same thing to the second photo because look at the difference now. See how just that looks so much better that it's not flat. So let's click on this one. Again, we're going to go to edit image, 
Uh, and it saves your recently used. So right here, shadows is here. I don't even have to scroll down. Look for it. Shadows is right there. Drop shadow. Click in the adjustments and change transparency to 75. And apply. Okay, so click off to the side. So now look just how much better those two photos look just by adding a simple drop shadow. Okay, so now we need to add our text. You can either just put an A or B or I'm, I want to do this or that. So let's go over to text. It's on uh, the left toolbar and I'm going to click on add a heading and I'm just going to type in all caps this and I'm going to bring it up here. I want to change the font. Okay, so let's go find a font that's big and bold and stands out and it's easy to read. Okay, this one, Horizon, I like that. It's big and bold. Uh, and we can change the color. Let's see, it's black. Okay, and I want you to see that now that we've uploaded these two photos, Canva does this great thing by creating a color palette from any photos you upload. So here is the first photo and it created a color palette. Uh, and then here's the second photo and it also has a color palette. So if you wanted to match that brown, like let's say this is kind of like a medium brown, there's that one, or here's that dark brown. Uh, I think I like this dark brown. So see, instead of just using black, we matched it to our photo which is right about this area right here. Okay, so I like this, this. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna write that. So we could either go and add a heading and do all, all over again, or we could simply choose this option right above this. Make sure you have it selected. See, it's not there. When you click on the box, you get these other selections. This is delete. We wanna click on the first one, which is a duplicate. It's going to make a second text box with already the font and everything chosen. So you just double click in there, backspace, and write that. Okay, now I want to write or. So again, I'm going to click on this, duplicate, and let's write or. And then for or, I'm going to make that smaller. So I'm just going to drag it in. And I want to put this smack in the middle, right there. So you can see a solid line appears when you're centered vertically and then another line appears when you're centered horizontally. So this is smack in the center. You see, we could have the cross in the middle. Okay, so we have this or that. I'm gonna move the photo slightly over now so we're not crowding the word. I'm gonna move this photo over as well. Now I wanna add like some arrows. So let's come over here to our left toolbar and let's click on elements. And now we're just gonna type arrow in the search bar. The first option is lines and shapes. We're gonna to go to the second one, which is graphics. And let's click on see all. Now we have all of these uh, fun arrows to choose from. Some of them are animated. As you can see, these are moving. Let's get rid of those. And to do that, come up here to your sliders. We wanna come down to animation and we want to click on static. We only want static images. Then we're gonna click off to the side and now you can see there are no more dancing graphics. Okay, so now we can choose any of these arrows we want. Okay, I kind of like this one here. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Okay, so here is our arrow, it's white. We can't really see it, so we need to change that color. Come up here to this rainbow color box, and again, we have choices. We can go and choose you know, any color we want, like red or black. There's a brown here. Let's try, let's try this brown. Okay, so I want this arrow to point at this book and then I'll put another arrow for this book. So this one is facing the wrong way. So if you notice there's a little circle below the image, it has two arrows. You can click on there and then you can spin it around like that. And then we can put the arrow here, click off to the side. We can make our arrow smaller Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, and then I wanna do the same thing uh, for this one here. So I can duplicate it or I can actually just come over here to this one because I think this one's going in the right direction. So I'm gonna click on that one, bring it down, and I'm gonna choose that same, I think it was this brown right here. Okay, so we have this or that. 
uh, with our arrows. I want to add something around the edges. Again, it's very plain. So let's go back over to elements and we're going to clear out the arrow. Let's just type in, let's see what we get with Western. I want to choose graphics, see all, and maybe we can add some fun elements in here. Okay, so here is like a rope border, kind of like that right there. Hmm, there's also a round one. I'm gonna click on that one. Oh, and then there's this one here. Okay, so let's try out a few of these. So there is a border that we could actually just put around the words. That's kind of fun. Let's see how that looks. Okay, no, I don't like that one. So I'm gonna delete that. Uh, there's this one that would we would stretch out to put like behind the whole thing. That's too messy. Also, I'm gonna delete that. Maybe putting this circle around the edges. Now we can change the colors. I don't like this gold here. Sometimes when you have graphics, you'll notice there's color boxes. If you do see the color boxes, it means you can change the color. So right here, I'm gonna change that gold. Let's go with that same brown so that we match. Okay, see how it looks so much better? And then this brown is already, I think that same brown. Okay, so we can see how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one. So I'm going to duplicate that. And so now we have a second one. We can just put it around this other edge. Okay, so we have two there. Let's find some other element. Here is another version of that. That might work. Let's make that larger, about the same size. Let's change the colors again to, let's see, was it this brown? Nope, it was this brown. And this one was this brown. Let's see how that looks. Let's move this one down here and this one up here. And let's duplicate that, bring that one down. Now this one needs to flip. To do that, while it's clicked, we can come up here to the word flip and we wanna flip it vertically. So see now it faces Oh, but I also want to flip it horizontally. Okay, that's what I want. So now I can kind of have that one. Okay, so I think this is looking pretty good uh, with just adding these few elements, just so that it's not so plain around the edges. I don't think there's anything else that kind of stands out to me. I don't want it to be too cluttered because we want to focus on the two book covers. Okay, so our background, I just made a cream, but we can actually match it exactly to the cowboy hat. If we click on our background color, click on add a new color, this plus sign, and then we're gonna take the eyedropper tool and we're gonna place it over uh, the cowboy hat. So you can see we have shadows in the cowboy hat and then we also have the highlights. I'm gonna place it right over the highlight. Oh, okay, and that's much better. I'm gonna show you. Here's a little undo arrow, here's before, and then here's after. Just barely chain shade, but it just looks so much better. Uh, if you wanted to label them A or B, you can just go over here to OR, click on Duplicate, bring it over here, and let's write A. Okay, it's kind of big, so I'm going to shrink it down small. We'll put this one right here, A. Let's make it a little bit larger. And then we're going to duplicate that and put it over here, B. That way when people vote, you can, they can say A or B or one or two. Okay, so let me show you how to download this. We're gonna come up here to share. We're gonna click on download. Okay, I'm just gonna click on a PNG since I'm just gonna show you this and download. Uh, it only takes a few seconds. Okay, it's already done. We're gonna click on our image. Okay, so here it is. You will just upload this into your you know, Facebook or Instagram and in the description box, write something like, hey guys, I can't decide on my next book cover. Which one do you like more? Please vote A or B in the comment section below. Or if it's like a poll, uh, they can actually just click on A or B and then you can tally up the votes. And then you can also um, follow these same instructions and make a book cover reveal. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. I hope it helped you. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notifications bell so you'll be updated on future videos. So thanks again for watching, liking, and subscribing. Until next time, bye-bye.